the grind is the funny. Have you watched uh, the Kanye documentary? Yes. Oh my god, it's so I'm, good. I'm blown away. Like, oh my um, gosh, me too. What, you're on. You finished. Yeah, both episodes? yeah. I watched I think, the last part last night or the second part. Episode three is so Wednesday, I think. Yeah. It's so weird to me seeing that guy in public mm. and no one freaking out. Was, I really, I'm like on a Kanye kick lately but i also kind of like feel like kanye sometimes because just watching that i was like nobody believed in him Mm. you know and people don't believe until they see something you know you have fake believers and then your friends are like haters they're like bro like why are you doing that and then something pops off and then everybody's your friend all of a sudden like kanye never stopped believing in himself and i think that's something that i have like in me where if something doesn't go right or if someone doesn't listen the first time i'm like all right fuck it watch me and you're gonna regret not believing like that scene where he's in the office and the girl's like uh she's like oh you're getting a blackberry because you can read full emails on it and he's like trying to play his song and they're not listening but they should have been listening yeah you, know? you imagine hearing through the wire for the first time and you're busy writing an email. You're like, yeah. all right, buddy. Like, you imagine that? Family business. It's like Bob Dylan giving you a guitar and you're like, thanks, buddy. Like, what? Like, yeah, just like, not even no one. Yeah, just like the, I, I, that, I think was one of the, that was episode one, I'm pretty sure. And they went to the Rockefeller offices. Yeah. And he just walked in every office and started playing his yeah. album. And everyone's like, yeah, man. It, they're all like, okay, like, who's Beanie Sink was going to be here soon. You what they go. said, what they call him, like, Canny, Canny's yeah. here or whatever. And it like, was like the spice, Cayenne. Yeah, yeah. Cayenne's <laughs> here. Cayenne's here to see Ludacris. Okay. <laughs> like, those people must be like such fools, like, seeing that documentary, like, mm. come out now. They'd be like, damn, like, I really made a mistake. Yeah. Like, some amazing footage, like the, the Jamie Foxx footage. Yeah. Can you take my money? That was incredible. Yeah. And you're just like that. That's part of at least my childhood. That that mm-hmm. lyric, and then you actually see it behind the scenes. You're yeah. Like, Whoa. Yeah. Whoa. I, Kanye, he really, you know, he found his his team. Like he had people around him who believed in him when nobody did. You know, and they were like, "All right, shit, we have to shoot all this footage." And now they have this crazy documentary of Kanye, one of the literal like the greatest of all time seeing his journey from you know going from nothing into the literal genius that he is now it's insane it's kind of crazy it's inspiring as fuck because <laughs> a lot of people say it they go yeah just do it like, believe mm-hmm. in yourself don't care what people say but a lot of people don't have it on camera yeah you know it's uh, yeah it's just it's, it's interesting just to see how that perspective actually works like people talk about it but mm-hmm. to see it on camera him go up to Jay-Z and Jay-Z not even know who he is and keep yeah. walking by and it's just like, whoa, there was a point where Kanye was a nobody. Yeah. It's kind of cool. When he sees the little kid in the hallway <laughs> and he's like, you know me, like I wrote this song and this song and the kid's like, cool. And then just walks away. Yeah. And like, but that's the kind of level of belief you have to like promote yourself. You just have to like, hell yeah. if it's okay. You just have to do whatever you need. Like you got to do whatever you need to. And you know, Kanye like worked hard as fuck for everything that he has. And he's he's incredible like such an inspiration when i was in grade five my sister-in-law was on tour with him and she like she got me like a signed shirt from him that i also lost in the breakup where i also lost my car but i was thinking about it i was like i had the shirt from the kanye west glow in the dark tour and like he really wrote my name on the shirt and signed it and then she like sent me the shirt and i was like this is crazy and that's you know like grade four or five like no one cared about kanye west in my age group they're like who's that and i was like this is crazy the the guy who wears the shutter shades like you guys are kidding me right now wow so it wasn't even college dropout that would have been like 808s yeah oh yeah, yeah. Cause you, holy you're 22 yeah okay because yeah. i remember listening to college dropout in junior high on mm-hmm. someone's ipod shuffle it's oh just this God, little ipod rectangle the, thing. Bi- the yeah yeah the big one that's yeah, like, it was yeah. like long and skinny, and it's like two gigs. Yeah, <laughs> or no, it was like five hundred megabytes. I, I, I couldn't tell you. And I remember <laughs> listening to that yeah. with like my buddy, and we'd be splitting the headphone driving to lacrosse, and yeah. it was just so different, so different, so yeah. unique. But going back to like the guy that wears the shutter shades, yeah, that's later <laughs> in his career, and he's yeah. like kind of a, an established star. Yeah, to have that, that'd be worth some money today. I know. Where is it now? Like, I probably went to Old Value Village, and whoever has it now, like, like give it back. <laughs> 